All right, so let's say I have two numbers stored in, you know, counters or some kind of bits in a circuit, and I want uh, to design a circuit to add those bits together. How can I go about doing this? Um, it shouldn't be surprising that we can do this with digital logic, with our with some combination of the right logic operations. And so let's look at what that what that would look like. So let's say um, we have we have. I mean. <laughs> Like we see when we add two numbers together on the board, um, it's all about looking at bits that are in the same place. So the first thing to do is to look at what two bits of the same value are, are doing, how we combine those. So if we think of those, those, you know, those two digits in the ones place or whatever, um, if we call those A and B, so we're adding digits A and B, uh, we can we have a few different possibilities, right? If A and B are both zero, they're going to add together and make zero. That's easy. If A is one and B is zero, they add together to make one. If A is zero and B is one, they add together to make one. If A is one and B is one, now we have a small problem because if we see this in a you know actual one plus one computation, uh, these are in base two. This is harder than it looks, right? Um, <laughs> One in base two plus one in base two, uh, we have to, you know, we end up with one zero. And so we have a zero here and we have to carry, carry the one to the next place. Um, so we need to be able to carry our, our digits. Um, so we need somewhere to put this carried bit to be added to the next one. And similarly, if this operation was happening in the middle of some long number, it's possible that we also have a carried bit to add to this. So the full operation um, actually has three inputs, the two digits, and then a, a, um, a bit that can carry into this. So this component um, that we're about to learn about is called the full adder. And there are lots of great electronic puns that make use of the fact that an adder is a kind of snake, um, but but adder here just means you know something that that adds. <laughs> so uh, under underwhelming, I guess. Okay, so the way these uh, the way we'll draw the adder on our like little block diagram is. Um, with its inputs at the top, so we have input A and input B, and, and there's another input on the right side, you'll see why these are in the places they are in a second, that is C in, so this is a bit that can be carried in from some other computation, so if this adder is happening in the fours place, this would be the bit carried from the addition in the twos place, right? Uh, this adder also can carry a bit out, so that's uh, C out, and also can give us the sum out, or you just call it S, I guess. So, so this is what the full adder looks like. The logic um, actually is not terribly complicated. We have a truth table for all, all five of these, which I will draw right here. So our inputs are A, B, and carry in, and our outputs are S, actually I'll do C out, and the sum. So possible combinations of A, B, and C, I will write down all eight. Okay, so these are all eight possible combinations of inputs for A, B, and carry in. And the output on the right here um, actually should not, should not be surprising at all if you think about it. What we're going to end up with over here is just the sum of these three digits. So in other words, 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is what we would imagine seeing if we were adding these together on the whiteboard, is going to give us 0 for both of these. 0, 0, 1, or 0, 1, 0, 
Each of those is a one added to other zeros, so that's going to give us a one, and we're not going to have to carry. We're not going to have to carry anything. Um, now, zero, one, and one, we're adding two ones together, so we get two, which is a one zero. So that is a one that gets carried and a zero in the sum place. Um, and I'm going to fill in the rest of these. So this is just another single one by itself. This is another one of these. And one plus one plus one gives us three, which is a one in the place and then another one that gets carried. So this is the truth table for, um, for the full adder. So notice this number here, these two digits are, are literally a two digit binary number that is A plus B plus C, like the sum of these three digits. So, you know, one zero is two, so this is two, this is two, this is two, one one is three, um, anyway, so that, that's kind of fun. We don't really, uh, anyway, <laughs> all right. So we can make this out of, um, out of logic gates. I will just show you one, one way to do it. Um, there are multiple ways to do it. So if you, if you, um, put these into XOR gates like this, This gives us the, I'm gonna make some room here. This gives us the, uh, the sum, sum variable. So that's a simple XOR uh, operation on A, B, and C in. And the carry, uh, the carry out, I should say, we get from the following. We have A, B, and C, and the pairs of A, B, and C go to AND gates. So this one is A and B, this one is A and C, and this one is B and C. So each pair, um, each pair of A, B, and C has their own AND gate, and these AND gates all go to a single OR gate. And this gives us the, uh, Carry out. So if, in other words, this is you know, very simple to understand. If any two of these, or or three, if any two or three of these are on, we have a, a number to carry, and that's because adding together two or more ones gives us something with a one in the twos place. Okay, that's it. So this is how you can make a full adder. You can also buy a full adder or, you know, buy a calculator too. But this is what's happening um, behind the scenes in the, in the full adder. Okay, so how does this work in the big picture? Let me show you how we can make a little block diagram uh, of what's going on. So imagine now that we connect several of these full adders together. So I'm just going to draw them as boxes. I'm not going to label them all. So these are each a full adder. And each of these, let's say we have two binary numbers that we're adding together, um, like we'll call it numbers A and B. So A has, we'll, we'll keep these at four bit numbers, but this can be expanded however we want. So A has four digits, A3, A2, A1, and A0. This is the least significant. This is the most significant. Over here, so this, these these are digits of a binary number in the same order we would write them on the board. So you know, one zero 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 would be the number eight because it's a one in the eights place, right? Eights place, fours place, twos place, ones place. B also um, has digits that are similar. B three, B two, B one, B zero also most significant to least significant, and these could be on you know stored on flip flops or in uh, RAM, which we will learn about at a later date, um, or you know something like that. So these are digits, digits of some number. So these are the two inputs to each of my full adders. So each of these gets one, you know, the digit of A and B with the same value, the eights place, 
the fours place, the twos place, and the ones place. Um, this carrying, the reason we drew it the way we did before is because the carry out from this one, remember this is C out, that is the bit that is carried in to the next one. So all we have to do is connect C out to C in of these, um, of these adjacent things and actually for these four bits, we might end up, we may end up with a five bit sum. You'll see what's going on here in a second. Um, <laughs> and then we have these, uh, these sum outputs. So our sum, we're also gonna label these sums. This is S0, S1, S2, and S3. And, and this also, this carry out can give us an S4. So these now, are the binary digits in the same order, in the same you know, left to right order that we would write on the board um, of the sum. So, so if you add, you know, if you add, if you put in these numbers into these logic gates the way we've shown, um, the output down here is going to be the sum of those two numbers. Um, and since you know A and B, you can imagine like. Okay, let's just do an easy example. If we add 1000 to 1000, so that is 8 plus 8, um, we know the answer is 16, and we know we cannot fit 16 into a 4-bit adder, the highest you can count is, or a 4-bit number, the highest you can count is 15. So um, what that means then is, uh, <laughs> is this, you know, in the sum, this bit that gets carried out, we could use as an extra extra digit, right? Since this is, this would be the 16's place. So adding together 100 and 100, sorry, 1000 and 1000 is going to carry a one out here and everything else is gonna be zero. So it gives us 10000, which is 16. Anyway, uh, so this is just kind of a, a example of how we can connect these full adders together. Um, you know, you can deal with bigger numbers if you if you string more of these together. There's nothing stopping us from doing that.